Today we are going to remove the battery from an iPhone 16. The iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus use non-traditional adhesive strips for securing the battery. Instead, the battery is secured using an adhesive that is bonded through electrostatic molecular attraction. According to the iPhone repair manual, it requires a power supply of at least 9 volts to disrupt the electrostatic molecular bonds on the surface of the adhesive securing the iPhone 16 battery. The battery can only be removed once the adhesive loses its stickiness after being subjected to electrical discharge. Today we will be using Quan Li's latest battery adhesive separator for this process. We only need to connect a 5 volt data cable for power. We know that it's properly connected and ready when the light is green. Let's test the output voltage to check the positive and negative power supply. On the multimeter, we can see that it generates a 27 volt DC power supply. This indicates that it is a small boost converter. Here's a list of what the status lights mean. After the positive and negative wires are connected in series, the indicator light turns blue. We connect the black negative wire to the pin on the iPhone connector. Of course, you can connect it to any position on the rear housing or anywhere that is grounded to the housing as the battery adhesive is connected to the housing. We can tell through this process that the metal conductivity is interconnected. All we need to do is align the red positive wire with the input port of the battery adhesive. Now what we will be looking for is the light changing from blue to red as the current passes through the adhesive, causing the release of the bond. Once we see the light has changed from blue to red, this indicates that the electrostatic molecular bonds of the, on the battery adhesive have been disrupted and it will no longer have the adhesive properties. Due to the 27 volt shock, it is much faster than a 9 volt method outlined in Apple's repair manual for adhesive removal. As we can see on this model, the battery is no longer flat but has a concave indention where the adhesive sits, and you can feel that it has lost its adhesive properties. In the future, I hope that all devices adopt this type of battery adhesive, making repairs more convenient for you.